Hello, this is Jeff at Battlefish, and I wanted to share with you my experience with EV foam, the stuff you buy on eBay, Amazon, wherever. It's usually about $50, $60 a sheet, and uh, I just wanted to share with you how it worked, how it didn't work, and how to get it off when you want to go with the real stuff. This EV foam only lasted two years. Uh, it starts to disintegrate after about two years in the Florida sun. I wasn't really sure how much force I'd have to use. I have a multi-tool which I eventually used and I wanted to see with a simple putty knife and some goo gone how much work it would be to do it by hand and it was a lot of work so there's several phases to removing this stuff and the first is getting the bulk of it off and a multi-tool does work works really well uh, to get the bulk of it off um, and to get a lot of the glue off as well what you'll need is a blade for your multi-tool um, a knife type blade um, I got a kit from eBay, I don't know, it was like $15 for a kit and it came with a blade. And it was stainless steel and it, was, it stayed sharp through the whole project so I didn't have to sharpen it at all. Uh, just make sure you put it on correctly, I had it on wrong initially, I had it on upside down. Um, so the flat part of the blade should be uh, on the bottom and the chisels part of the blade, the slanted part should be on the top so you should be able to see the top of the, uh, the slanted part of the blade. So uh, chiseling up or multi-tooling up the majority of it and then goo gone for a couple, three hours soaking in goo gone. Uh, more multi-tool or razor blades, uh, scraping, scraping, scraping. And then when you're done, I'll wash it all down with a good cleaner. I used Zep degreaser and um, that worked really well to get all the goo gone off uh, and uh, cleaned up and uh, Chris the installer said it was a very clean job so uh, he was happy with it. And on the side uh, the gunnel, uh, the gel coat was bubbled up underneath the uh, ED foam. I don't know if it had something to do with uh, the adhesive or what but um, definitely damaged the gel coat. So this is the install of the aqua traction after uh, about 10 to 11 days before Chris came out and measured uh, with a special tool, mapped out the boat where I wanted all the, uh, the aqua traction and uh, then it's just a bunch of puzzle pieces to put together. I think it took uh, him about hour and a half to measure it all out. Of course, I only got a 17 foot boat, hour and a half to measure it all out. And then like, uh, and they sent me the plans, I approved it. And then uh, they ordered the parts. And then it's about 10 to 11 days, I got, them, I got them in, they called me up to arrange the install. And then he came out and installed it. And it took him uh, about two hours to install it all.
fit and finish of the finished product is remarkable. It's amazing. I was more than pleased with how it turned out.